Hi guys! Totally low key tonight. Normally I would like sit down, I'd spend like half an hour, 40 minutes organizing my setup because I have to set it up every single time I decide to record and it's all scripted and then if I mess up I normally edit it all out but I'm so tired and I just thought, I thought about going live, you know. So many that I watch go live and I'm like, how do you do that? Like, I am such a freaking fumbler, like, <sighs> yeah. So I did think about it, but then I thought, oh, I'm going to completely fuck up. I've been watching a few people lately and it's really started to make me think about my channel and what I really want to do. And um, look, I've realised that in order to be myself, I have to be 100% myself. And um, I do have a bit of a foul mouth myself. And when I have been um, trying not to swear, I am saying words that sort of are out of my comfort zone, like fiddlesticks and whoopsie daisies and all that sort of shit. And to be honest with you, it's not... It's, it almost feels too scripted, I guess. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not being me, and I want to be able to be me. So I'm actually rethinking on how I'm going to address this issue. I'd love to know from you guys, like, whether um, you guys had a problem with me. Like, I know there's not a lot of yous at the moment, but, like, before I get anybody else on here, I wanted to know from you guys, like, what would you think? Like, would you be okay if I accidentally swear or just, you know, not even accidentally swear, but if, if I was swearing in my videos, would that be a problem for you? Or if um, maybe I swear in my videos, but I mute that bit out or um, beep it out when I'm doing my editing, because I don't mind beeping it out or muting it out, but I really don't want to have to sort of think before I speak and just say whoopsie daisy or oh bugger bum, poop, you know, whatever, instead of for fuck's sake, which is generally how I talk, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm Australian, if you guys don't know, and I don't know if that really makes a difference. I don't think it does, but, you know, we, we can swear like troopers, and, um, yeah, so... That's something I've been really sort of considering. Like, I, I realise that I'm almost robotic in the way that I'm talking sometimes because I'm overthinking how I should be saying things. Um, I'm too worried about um, accidentally, like, you know, completely ruining my whole video or having to spend so much time editing things out. So, anyway, that's one of the reasons why I haven't gone live because I can't be myself. And I do have word diarrhea sometimes. Like, sometimes I will fumble or I'll have these long pauses where I can't even remember what the fuck I was going to say. It drives me freaking nuts, right? So that that's the biggest reason why I don't do live videos, whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on Instagram or Facebook. But, so now you know. Anyway, please let me know below. Like, do you guys have a problem with me swearing? Or if so, would you prefer me to mute it out or beep it out? I don't care either way, but I would love to know what you guys think. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing this video now is because I'm tired and I'm in bed. I don't know if you I mean, obviously I don't have my normal background here. I'm sitting on my bed on an angle because if I was sitting perfectly plush against my backboard, I would have to have the camera on the tripod on my bed and then it'll be shaking everywhere and nobody wants that, right? So I do apologize for this weird angle. Is that like giving you the heebie-jeebies? Like, yeah? Anyway, let's try and work with it. I um, thought I'd talk about my skincare routine, at least nighttime anyway, and what's been working for me. So anybody who um, knows, I have dry, sensitive, dehydrated skin. It is so sensitive. Like, <laughs> I've noticed that if I, if I stop this routine for three or four days, um, if I go in with any other moisturiser or none at all and then I start up again, I can really see that I have some real skin issues and I do suffer from eczema, which has been something that I've suffered from all my life. So, um, I've been trying a whole lot of products. I've got quite a lot of videos where I trial moisturisers, I tallied up all the moisturisers in another video, like, um, against each other and what I thought for me was working quite well, which I'll link all of those. Um, but I finally found something that worked for me. I mean, it's pretty simple, so I thought I'd just go through that with you guys, and maybe some way it can help, but if not, this video may not even go up. I just I just wanted to do something a little bit low-key and something that I didn't have to take 45 minutes setting up and, you know, editing and everything like that, so I'm kind of hoping that I don't have to edit this too much either. So, um, anyway, before this goes on and makes a really, really long, friggin' awkward video, let's get started. <laughs> So generally, I'd normally be wearing makeup or something like that, but even if I don't, I like to go in with this simple kind of skin 
Sensitive Skin Experts Hydrating Cleansing Oil. So I'll generally mostly only use this if like I've got heavy makeup on, honestly. Like if I don't have makeup on, I probably won't even use this unless I use eye makeup. Because look, sometimes I just like to wear mascara and this, this melts it just like that. I've not tried any other cleansing oils. I've only tried this one. It's relatively cheap. It is sensitive. Um, sorry, it is kind to skin. It's very sensitive. I haven't had any dramas with this product, unlike the kind to skin simple face mask, which broke me out. But that's another story. So I'll go over with this. I'll put it on my face. I'll massage it in. Then I'll wet my hands a little bit, put it back over my face, emulsify it. It'll turn into a milk. And then I'll splash with water and I'll remove it that way. Then, on top of that, like after that, if I was wearing makeup, I would then go in with this, which is Dreamy Annie's Camouflage Cleansing Foam Mousse. I don't know. I got this in a Bella box. Like, I would use either like a cream um, cleanser or, yeah. I'm just trying to get rid of this so I can put it in my empties and talk about it with you guys, like at the end of the month or something. But anyway, I'll normally go in with a, um, just some sort of clean, uh, just some, see, verbal diarrhea. I would normally go in, if I'd been wearing makeup, I'd use that oil first, obviously, but then I would go in with this just to make sure that I got everything. Um, and if I wasn't wearing makeup, sometimes I'll skip that oil altogether and I'll just go to like a moisturizing um, cleanser. So this is really, really good for that and it gets all the rest of it off. After that, you'd think that I'd be pretty squeaky clean, but I then go in with this simple... Again, Sensitive Skin Experts Kinda Skin Soothing Facial Toner, which is 100% alcohol free. Also good, but I don't like taking the lid off and putting it on a cotton pad. I don't know, I just don't know. So what I did is I went to Kmart and I picked up a two pack of these like um, little spray bottles and I poured it in there and I'll grab it and I'll go tick, 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 like I'll almost drench, drench my face, right? And then I'll get a cotton pad or whatever it is that I've got, usually a cotton pad, and then I'll wipe it. And I'll still re uh, remove, like, makeup. If, like, I've got makeup on after that, like, because sometimes I, um, I bring it back to my ears because my ears get red. Sometimes I'll bring it down here. And with the oil and the, um, the cleansing, um, cream makeup remover, sometimes I forget to do down my neck or sometimes I forget to do in my ear. So using that toner, it works great. So generally after that, um... I'm normally done with washing my face and um, I don't use abrasive like, um, what do you call them? <sighs> See, here's that pause moment. I don't use abrasive facial scrubs. There we go. I don't use scrubs on my face because um, I am very sensitive and anything, even just like the most sensitive beads, like uh, the smallest beads, I'll still break out. I'll rash out, eczema will break out, so I don't do any of that, right? Um, I don't, I don't think I really need to, to be honest with you. But what I will do is, because I get crunchy lips sometimes, especially when I'm wearing, like, um, mattifying or drying um, uh, liquid lips and stuff like that, I will go in with this e.l.f. Um, lip scrub. It is in the flavor... Yeah, flavor. I'd say flavor because you taste it. Um, sweet cherry. It was really inexpensive, even for Australian standards, which we pay a lot more than you guys uh, in America. So, um, that I found out, which is really sucky. I think I paid... Um, I think I still paid $9 for this. Yeah, but uh, look, to its credit, I've used it for several months and I've still got that much left and it's still a shit ton so um and I'll go over the lips with this a little bit of water massage it in taste and smells so freaking good like lollies but anyway I'll only do that maybe once once every two weeks or something I really don't need to do it that often because I prefer like lip balms and stuff like that anyway um I've already done all of that tonight so generally after that what I will do is I'll whip out this bad boy which is from the ordinary it is the buffet serum this stuff Oh my god. Like, I did find what I I feel is my perfect moisturiser, right? Which um, I'll talk to you about in a minute. But I thought to myself, yeah, this is great, but I'm sure skin can get softer than this, right? Like, my moisturiser managed to get rid of, like, all of my eczema. Like, I'd go and take a shower, right, and I'd come out, my face would be so blotchy. You'd see where the eczema is trying to pop up, right? But then when I started using the moisturiser that I'm going to talk about in a minute... That stopped happening. I stopped getting like those little red patches and the blemishes and all that sort of stuff. But I wanted a little bit more moisture in my skin. Like I wanted that dewy sort of feeling. Not the tacky, 
but the dewy baby soft you know i really wanted that and i knew that it was possible to get it like all these people have been banging on about it and i'm like i want that so i thought okay maybe i need something else so i thought well let's go a serum right so i did my research and i came across i was either going to get the buffet serum or i was going to get the um the hyaluronic acid serum from the ordinary company but i found out that the buffet one has a little bit of hyaluronic acid in it anyway and that um the purpose of hyaluronic acid is to sort of like um suck in sort of moisture from outside or um from your moisturizers and keep it sort of in and i wanted something that did a little bit more than just like retained moisture like i wanted something that was going to put in there and i don't exactly know everything that is in this but what i can tell you is that it made my skin go from feeling really really fantastic after moisturizing um to just that next freaking level like wake up and it still felt freaking amazing like it, it feels amazing now and I haven't done this today like I, I, I don't need to do moisturizing twice a day I mean it would probably feel even better if I did but I'm lazy right so I forget sometimes to put moisturizer on in the morning especially if I'm not going out anywhere or I'm not putting makeup on right so anyway I only use this once a day and all my moisturizer as well so this goes on first um of course after i do all my cleansing and everything like that and then after this like obviously i just i'll show you i i will because i've got to do it anyway so i may as well so it's got this little dropper so you stick it in suck it up and um, i just put a little bit there there oops shoot <laughs> that's not happened before and i normally put a little bit on the other side but you know what i've put a little bit too much on it anyway so let's just spread that out and get it in spreads quite far so um i don't really have to worry about that a little goes a long way so i put it all over my face mainly in all my troubled areas run it down the neck just a little bit and it only takes a few minutes to really soak in and that's what i love about it because i hate having to sit there like i just want i just want to get it done right especially at night time when I've, I've after i've been dealing with all the kids i come to bed i just want to chill i want to sit down i want to watch tv I want to drink my coffee and I just want to chill. So I want this process to be relatively quick, right? Otherwise, I just won't do it. So anyway, that's pretty much, I mean, it's a little bit tacky. But pretty much by the time that I pack this up and I put it away, um, I'm ready to go in with my moisturizer. My moisturizer, right. Now, like I said, I think I did a video where I trialed, I don't know if it was 10 moisturizers in, in 20 weeks or 20 moisturizers in 10 weeks. Look, it's probably 10 moisturizers in 20 weeks. I did it so long ago because I wanted to give each moisturizer a chance to really work, right? And um, I'm not sure if this is the one that I put up top, but this is the one that I'm, I'm, I'm loving right now. And that's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Plus. Wow. Right, so... I did try the Moisture Surge one, and that just didn't seem to do shit for me. Like, I'm like, this is supposed to be really, really good. And it was expensive, right? Like, you got this little tub, and it was 50 bucks. And I'm like, what? And I can't even remember how much was in there, but it, it just didn't seem like enough. And it wasn't doing anything for me. I'm like, oh, that's, that's a bummer, because everybody was bragging about it. And then I thought, well, why don't I try the lotion? Because, you know, lotions usually work better for me, right? Once again, like I said, I did a lot of research on what kind of stuff that I should be using on my skin because I was trying gels, which is what the Moisture Surge sort of is, and um, creams and all that sort of stuff, and I come to realise, yeah, I should really be using, like, a lotion or um, a cream, right? Not a, not a gel. Um, and I got this, and I thought, this is $30, I think, and I'm pretty sure it's either the same amount as the Moisture Surge, like the, um, the mills in here, or it's even more for thirty dollars, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, let's give this a go, right? So I did. I got a sample somewhere. I can't remember how, and I started using it, and I'm like, this shits all over the moisture search for me. Like, what the hell, right? And I thought, well, <laughs> that's okay. I don't care. So um, we ended up getting this big one. My partner brought it for me. Actually, I think it was either like birthday or something like that. And I haven't looked back. And like I said, I generally what I would do is I shake it. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't care. I just do it anyway because I like to get into the habit. Otherwise, if I don't, I forget to shake my foundations and then I end up with problems, right? So I will literally just do... Oh, look, I like to do a squirt and a half. And I know. I know it's overkill. But I'm going to do it anyway because I just I like it. And if you go in really gently, like if you rub it really gently, you won't bring up... You won't make that white sort of you won't do that right but if you go vigorously you can spread it really far so you really don't need um two pumps or one and a half like i just did but i just like it to go on easily like i don't like to work it so i'll just rub that in 
and I don't mind. Look, I've been using thick lotions most of my life, especially because of the eczema. And there was this one lotion that I had to use that I absolutely hated. It was called um, Hydroderm, right? Great stuff if you're suffering from eczema, but it's so thick and you'd put a little bit on and you'd have that white paste all over your face for a very long time. You couldn't rub it in. You really couldn't. Not if you used the thick cream and not the lotion. And um, yeah, so that was pretty much it. That's pretty much it, right? And about a week later, after doing this, it was just phenomenal, like, night and day, night and day. I, I tried, I tried Nivea, I tried Dove, I tried, um, look, I can't even remember half the moisturizers that I actually tried. I tried the simple one, and they just weren't doing it for me, and I thought, well, just for a little bit more, I can have this one, and it really is night and day, and that's pretty much all I do. Like, I will go in once a week maybe maybe a little bit more with a hydrating sort of face mask or something like that especially because i like to do the videos and um my skin hasn't felt better like it it has not felt better in my entire life so um it gives me a little bit more of a push and a drive to actually look after my skin knowing how well it goes and that makes the application a lot better too i find that if i don't look after my skin then my foundation like i use drugstore foundation or chemist foundation cheap ass right and when i'm looking after my skin it can look amazing. My, my foundation can look amazing on my skin in comparison. If I don't do anything at all, just let my skin go al natural, you know, sun damage, wind damage, you name it. Um, I just look like a crusty mummy. Look after your skin. Like, if you want your makeup to look fantastic, if you just want to feel fantastic and your skin to be fantastic, look after your skin. And... You really don't have to go in with all of these toners and, and all that sort of stuff. You just sort of need to find the formula that works for you. This is the formula that works for me. Like I said, I, I mean, recap, I have dry skin, I have eczema, I have sensitive skin. And this is what's working for me. And I'm not inclined to change it. Most of these products are really cheap. Like I said, I mean, most of them are from the Simple Company, which you can get at almost every chemist slash drugstore. And... Uh, I mean, both of these, I believe, are under $10 or around the $10 mark. So I've had this for... I want to say four months. I've had this for longer. Um, yeah, and I've had this since October. So we're we're at the halfway mark, and I use it every single night. And for the first two weeks, I actually used it twice a day. So I'm not complaining, guys. I'm not complaining. So anyway, that's my nighttime routine, and usually it is followed up with a nice cup of hot coffee, uh, mm, which. After the kids go to bed, that's what I need, right? And now I'm going to sort of kick back and relax. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. And um, if not, what can I say, right? This is how I do it. And I hope that you got something out of it. So um, stay tuned. Check in for my next video. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, actually, before you go, guess what? I just made an order with Colourpop. I'm so fucking excited. Um, I'm expecting it, like, you know, in the next week or two. But you know what Colourpop are like? Like, sometimes people in America will be waiting months for their Colourpop order. But the last Colourpop order that I got, I only waited, like, a week and a half and I got it. So I'm really, really hoping that they stay to that. And, um... I'm looking forward to doing that, so I'm planning on doing an unboxing, but I may do a mask um, video before then, not sure, see how we go. It's very, very hard for me to find recording time, and look, I'm really hating my camera at the moment, so the drive to want to do videos, like I want to do more videos, but this camera is driving me absolutely nuts, like it doesn't give me crisp quality, and um, and that's what I want. I, want I, I can fix everything else, but I can't fix my camera, and no. I mean, I can, but it's going to take me time. I need the money to be able to replace it. And right now, I don't have the money. So I'm um, working with what I've got. So please bear with me, guys. It's something that I'm working on. But um, watch out for that Colourpop video. I'll let you know when it's coming. And um, if you don't, uh, follow me on Instagram. That's usually where I leave all my updates when I have a, a video that's upcoming soon. Um, if not... Don't forget to um, subscribe, and if you want to see those videos, don't forget to check the bell, because when you do check the bell, you'll get updated with every video that I've got. Otherwise, you might miss out. Um, and if you liked this video, hopefully I don't have to edit it, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, and um, helps other people see the video. And like I said, let me know down below, guys. Are you okay with me swearing, or should I edit it out, or should I just really work on, you know, trying not to swear altogether? But um, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Let's not try and change me. Let, let let me know below. Should I edit out my swearing or should I just let it roam free? Alright, anyway, that's it from me guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!